Okay, so today we're going to um, be catching the um, the Irish fancies uh, out of this cage here, the three babies that we've had, and um, they're absolutely beautiful birds. And we're going to put the rings on them. Uh, but I'll, first of all, I want to do a bit of a review on this product, which I did buy online. Um, it's a drinks uh, dispenser, water or, or seed, which um, I was putting outside. Quite flimsy, <coughs> bends quite a bit, and when I was putting the top on, which is this bit here, it really just gripped the metal rings with such a slight amount. And obviously, you put anything in it, and the bottom just fell off. It, I had to actually strap it on with cable ties. Then the bottle wouldn't stay in, it would stay down in there, even though it's got a screw thread. So I had to even shape the um, shape the metal like this, to bend the metal to grip it. And it seemed to work okay. Bottle counts about here. The reason I'm not showing the bottle at the moment is because um, it will come apparent in a moment. Now it was outside in the aviary and um, although the bottle was a blue colour, Brief. There's the bottle. It's uh, algae proof. The um, this white plastic isn't. Now, obviously, we've got a lot of algae down here, and because we couldn't take it apart completely, I had to sort of try and get foam into these little holes to try and clean it. So that was frustrating as well. Um, then um, I thought, well, I'll, I'll put it in the dishwasher. So this went in the dishwasher. Now, obviously, this would have been a chrome colour and I understand that I thought that would discolour I also knew I'd chipped the paint off there so I knew that would go rusty so I'm not bothered about that and to be fair that cleaned up fairly good I haven't cleaned it since it's been out of the dishwasher but look you can see it's fairly clean inside there you can see there but no no um no green algae but unfortunately and this is just basically just a warning about this product really Try to get your hands on a product, work out that it it's not going to fall apart, and don't put your bottle in the dishwasher because what's happened there is it's basically half the size it was, and it's completely distorted around the end, around the nozzle there. Uh, yeah, so that's basically a product for next week's recycled bin collection so a bit of advice just get your hands on one of these if you get one that works great for you presumably preferably a glass bottle and preferably one that doesn't pop apart um stick with those models um just to really be careful it's only about six pounds so it's not not the end of the world but a lot of work involved to try and get it to actually work properly and then you can't even wash it properly in a dishwasher so um, my fault I suppose I don't think I saw anything on the instructions regarding don't dishwash but yeah okay or we'll even try making your own out of a coke bottle or something right so to the uh, to the Irish fancies yeah, the beautiful cars so let's Get them out and get them wrong. I want to put them in a cage behind me all together so you can see them a bit better. So I've got the cage ready for them, and then I'll show you a video of them once they're uh, once they're in, so you can see them a little bit better. They're um, they're absolutely beautiful. I think very slight bird, very slim, and um, I wish I could breed some more of these. I've only got the one pair though, so. Uh, she is on eggs at the moment, and they're due to hatch in about a week, just less than a week. And uh, looking forward to some more there. Last year they only had the one baby. Mm -hmm. Got my ring tools ready. Um, pick the colour I'm going to be picking. And because I've not got any more of these birds, they're very easily identifiable. Um, although two of them have got similar markings. So it doesn't really matter what colour ring I'm putting on them because they're going to be different to what I've got. So here we go, Let's see if we can catch one. Oh,
Lovely head. Oh, yeah. Little marking. Right, so first things first, the numbering. This is the 66th bird that I've rung in the uh, canaries in the four seasons that I've. Log the colour in my book. That's a white ring number 66. Next ring 67. And the ring on the, on the little tool, first of all. And this one's going to be a blue ring. Got that ready as well. One thing I don't want to be doing is having the bird in my hand and then trying to find the get the ring onto the tool. Um, sometimes you drop the ring on the floor. I have swept the floor. Uh, it's covered in seeds from the parrotlets. Um, if I drop a ring on the floor, when there's ever a seed on the floor, it's very hard to find it. So, good preparation. Uh, basically because it's happened before and it's got a known way of this thing. I've got the yellow one this time. Again. It's a lovely bird. Oh. Oh, such a nice temperament this one. It's sporty. Oh yeah. Right. I always put the um, number rings on the on their right leg. You can see that. Yeah, okay, sixty-seven. They're all them upside down. I normally hold them up the the right way. I've seen other people doing it differently. It's what works for me. It can be tricky to do. So whatever works best for you, really. There we go, blue ring. Okay. There we go, it's escaped. Well, caught it again. One thing I have got in the shed is a um, it's two parts of the shed. So I just like to show you that I have got a section in there which there's a bar and a bit of a mess at the moment. Uh, I've got a door with wire mesh, hence um, for that exact reason. If something escapes or something gets out one of the cages, and I come back in, then it's it's basically isolated to this this area. Where there's less junk and stuff, so I can I can catch the catch the bird easier. Okay. Yeah. Well, I just uh, did say that you learn by your mistakes. Let me knock the um, the log book off the. Last all that I was using, and um, there was the rings on it, so they went on the floor. And I did say about I'd swept the floor. Unfortunately, I swept the little bit underneath me. So basically, <laughs> you're gonna try and find a ring on the floor that's got seed like that on it. It could have gone anywhere. Luckily, I've moved the bar stool and I found them. They're they're there. There they are. So easy to see. Yeah, now obviously the coloured one, it doesn't matter where I place it, with a different colour, you've probably got loads of those, but the number, you know, I want the right number on it, so, can you see them? 
And there's one. And that's the green one. And then the black one. Unfortunately, because of the parrot lets, being in black seed, black sunflower seeds, and there's lots of this bits knocking around which look just like black rings. But there it is. So I've managed to find it. So really, that's lucky. I really haven't got great eyesight for close-up stuff. But I'm not too bad at finding stuff that's you know, needle in a haystack sort of thing. <coughs> so very lucky there. <coughs> so I'm putting them on the floor. I'm ready to catch the last bird. Right. So another lesson learned. Completely sweep the floor. Perhaps put the rings that you're going to use somewhere a little bit safer. Uh, the bar stool I've got is like a tractor seat, so it's at an angle. I've wedged the uh, wedged. I've wedged the dustpan underneath to try and make it flat, and I must have caught it here and knocked it off. So that's just the way it is. Right, okay. Catch the last one. There he is. Door shut. There's the man. Why not let go of this one? Oops. Some of the markings to the last one, not such pronounced markings on the head. Lovely bit, nice temperament. Number 68. And the dark green ring. Trust me, I have done this before. Right, it's finally on. For some reason that was a nightmare. Get that one in before I let go of that one. <sighs> right, okay. Right, so there they are. Let's have a good Slender bird. Attracted to the light, that's the first time they've seen in that close up to a window. And they're already looking outside, thinking, when am I going to get to go out there? Not just yet. End of the summer, I'll probably go out in the flight. I'll try and get a closer view of them in a moment. So you can see them all the other birds. Yeah, subscribe please, hit the like button, share the videos if you like, and uh, if any comments appreciated, any advice, and beautiful. Thanks again for watching. Take care. to the other birds now to see how they react to the other fledglings.
one's the uh, Irish Fancy. The two are over in the corner. Let's see if we can move them. There's the other. Thank you. 